Today, I'm gonna be feeding over 100 animals in one video. This includes my lizards like tegus and quins, my geckos like my tokes or my lichianas, even down to every single one, including my tortoise. Make sure you guys stick around. We are gonna be showing off a lot of animals and cool feeding videos. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you around. Let's get into it. So the first question a couple of you guys have is, Dakota, what, what happened with this video and this video right here? You're we talking about 200 animals. Why did it go down by half? I forgot about the downsizing and I actually took an accurate count. We are at 103 animals. So there's the number for you directly. It'll probably change tomorrow when some eggs hatch, but that's just the way it is. First step in order to get this thing going is gonna be preparation. Well, for our insectivores, this thing's pretty easy because you just grab the crickets, put them in a cup and shake them into the lid. For a lot of these other guys, like our crested geckos and tegu lizards, it can be a little in depth. And so to help us prepare, I've actually invited on a special guest that is upstairs and we are gonna meet right now. Alrighty, boys and girls, Chef Dakota here. And today we are talking about preparation when it comes to reptile feeding. Just like if you are any sort of fitness journey, meal prepping is gonna be your biggest essential when you are feeding a majority and quantity of size. The fuck did I just say? So right now we are gonna be preparing some stuff from our omnivores and our vegetarians. So this vegetarians. No, I'm gonna keep that in. Like our tortoises and our tegus, things like that. So we got some essential stuff here, including fruits, veggies, and then the meat of choice for our tegus is going to be beef. While this is not a staple, I do like to add it in a variety of different things. I get a variety of meats that I feed in with a variety of different things. Don't scold me on using beef one time. First things first, in order for us to get this going, you guys have to have, of course, the largest knife to display our dominance and alphaness when cutting up all these vegetables. So let's get that started right now. This is the dullest knife I've ever used in my life. My God. I swear to God, boys and girls, I've never used knives this dull before. These things are like... Okay, boys and girls, now that we have this all finished, we got our nice little veggie and fruit platter. Next step is we're gonna be separating this for the stuff that is gonna be used for just our vegetarian reptiles. That's what I call it now. And the next step is we're gonna start making stuff for our tegu, specifically tegu meatballs. I absolutely love making tegu meatballs, mixing the veggies and fruits in with the meat. It's a great way to get them accustomed to eating vegetation. We all know it can be really difficult to get tegus onto fruits and veggies. This is a great way to get that done. There you got it, boys and girls. We got some spicy meatballs for our tegus. I mean, who would not want a ball of meat that is stuffed with stuffed peppers, apples, and broccoli? Sounds like a delicious treat. So what we're gonna do now is take a few of these to feed to our tegus. Will you put the rest either in the freezer or the fridge? And then we still have one more thing to take care of. That's going to be our crested geckos. It means I need to make some crested gecko food for our new Caledonian geckos. So we'll be doing that. And then we can bring all this stuff down and start feeding our animals. Huge round of applause in the comment section for Chef Dakota there. He really made some absolutely magnificent dishes. I mean, not to mention what a handsome man that chef is. I mean, I give a chef's kiss to that dude any day. The preparation now all said, we continue on to this step two out of this two step process, which is prepare the food and then feed the food. So let's get started with everyone's favorite tegu lizards, Bertha and Blue. And okie dokie boys and girls, are we ready to have some food? Let me just move this on right on over and we'll put the food down. Oh my God. <laughs> and as you guys can see that we're, where are you going with the meatball? Loving the new enclosure that we saw, I think, last video. Let me, uh... Bertha, wake up, it's food time. Come on, Bertha. Wakey, wakey. Food, look. Oh my God. There we go. Food time for the tegus. These guys are absolutely loving their enclosure. And just look at that. We are getting Blue to eat his vegetables. I, I think... Bertha is picking on the the ones that Blue left down there for some reason. Oh no, she's coming over. 
Bertha, you gotta hurry up. The Tegu meatballs are almost out. Come on. Here she comes, Bertha, on racing over. What I love about these guys is they're pretty good about sharing the food. They do it pretty deliciously. However, they haven't never had an attack with each other. I've never seen them fight over the food once. Blue, don't make me regret that statement. Alrighty, can't wait to clean up ground meat and vegetables while they're gone, but looks like the Tegu meatball was a success. Let's move on to the next one. On the list is going to be our good old buddy Wilson, and would you just look at that? Looks like he pooped in his water bowl like he always does. Can't wait to scrub that out a little later. But for right now, all we are going to do is I'm going to prop this up using the camera. We'll take this plate out of here. We'll put this plate in here. He's absolutely going to love these. A bit of a treat for him. He gets a variety of different stuff, usually the pellets, some grasses, leaves, like green leaves. But today I want to give him some fresh chops, so let's see if he comes out. Oh my god, guys, it looks like he's coming out all by himself, definitely with no help whatsoever. We'll give Wilson a little time to understand that there is food going over here, and in the meantime, let's go feed some other guys. Well, would you just take a look at this little man, checking out the veggies. Come on, Wilson. You can do it. Eat the vegetables. Wilson, I made these especially for you. You are going to eat these vegetables, young man. I swear to God. Woo! Yeah, Wilson eats food. Man, that's the broccoli, which is probably the worst thing for him that was put in there. But he is eating food. Absolutely fantastic. Let's move on. Next on the list is going to be the tarantulas. I know, I know, I know. You guys hate that I make tarantula content now. Well, joke's on you. Deal with it. Tarantulas will be on this channel whether you like it or not. I don't care how many 10 out of 10 videos I make. I will continue posting about them. Let's start feeding. This is our first tarantula feeding video. Very exciting. Right now they are all going to get some dubia worms. Some dubia roaches, except for the smaller boys. The smaller boys will get half inch crickets. So let's roll a montage of feeding these guys. Well, 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 look who's enjoying the vegetable so much, he's literally standing on top of it. <laughs> Wilson, you can't fool me. I know you like it. Can you guys see her? Hang on. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, no. So here we have an interesting standoff between the skeleton leg and the roach. If I can zoom in, the roach is right there, right underneath its leg. If it moves, then the tarantula will know that it's there and eat it. However, how long can it stay completely still before it its dumb roach brain thinks it has to do something. Let's find out. There is roach. There is big spider. Come on now. Come on. I, uh, I don't know what's going on here. I, I, I haven't done tarantula feeding videos before. Is this what's supposed to happen? Well, we'll leave you two love bugs alone and go do other stuff. Next up on the list, we are going to be feeding our new Caledonian geckos. And as you can see on the table behind me, this is all the cups that need to be used. Usually I'll feed off about this much. There might be about that much left, but this is usually one BBQ bottle's worth of crested gecko food every time. But this includes our Lichianus pair, our Chihua pair, all of our grow outs and babies that we have, which is my God, not even scratching a little for the amount of eggs that we have in the incubator. Then of course our sub adult and males and then our female breeders and pairs that have been going on right now. Absolutely fantastic. We'll do a quick speed montage unless you guys want to see 45 minutes of me going. Probably not. We'll do it this way. I feel like it's a bit better. Let's get into it. Oh, 
Oh my god, I cannot wait to get out of using fucking bins, bro. Holy shit. <sighs> Not to worry, everyone's good. No drop tails. <sighs> Only a couple more months and I will never have to use 56 quart of bins again for the rest of my life. I cannot wait for that video to come out. I cannot wait for that shipment to come. I, you do not understand how tired I am of using bins. They are the worst. We have a collection of this size and just a daily maintenance of it. Nothing closures itself. Tubs are fine. I know people are, uh, uh, let's keep moving. Alright boys, I'm sorry for the interruption, I just want to talk a little bit real quick about the merch. If you're looking for a great way to support the channel while getting some absolutely badass merch, I mean just check this out, we got Cresty in the front, Toke in the back, absolutely incredible. But hey, if Crested Geckos don't float your boat, which I mean how can they not, but not to worry, we have a bunch of other incredible designs going from geckos, other geckos, m m well more geckos, I think there's a chameleon one? If you guys want some more information, the band is right down there. It really helps me out. It helps me keep doing all the full-time stuff that I've been doing, living my dream. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Let's get back to the video. Hey, boys and girls, getting down to it. Only like 30 left to feed. Right here, we have our giant green-eyed geckos. Now, for these guys, I do do a pretty good uh, combination of either this crested gecko food and or crickets or really any other insect. These guys actually love the crested gecko food. Funny enough, when I first got them, I thought they were only insectivores, so I only fed them crickets. And then while at a show, someone showed me theirs and they were huge. And I'm like, how did yours get so big? And they're like, feed it gecko food. And I did, and now look, mine are big. Imagine that. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the toke 10. We have about 20 or so tokes in here. We all feed them crickets. Usually they don't like me and I just throw them in, they'll eat it later. However, Bert here, I've been training Bert, guys. Bert has been doing very well. Let's open him up. Bert, what are you doing? Bert, look, crickets. Bert, you're making me out to be a fool. Eat the crick. Bert, where are you going? You're the star of the show. Bert, please. I lied. Bert's not a good boy. We don't. We, he's awful. All of these. <laughs> I'm just going to feed him. It, this is an awful video idea. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't. <laughs> Well, boys and girls, that is going to be the end of the video. This has been the worst decision I've ever tried to make. I will never again attempt to feed all of my reptiles in one sitting. I specifically have it evened out to not do this. And yet old Dakota had the bright idea to, oh, let's feed a hundred animals in one day. It's gonna be a great idea. The folks are gonna love this over here. Well, how's Dakota gonna feel, Dakota? How am I gonna feel after this? is not good. Hey boys and girls, to the first and last feeding all my reptiles in one video video. We will never do this again. I have learned from my mistakes and n never again. Make sure to like the video to just get some remnants of making this video worth it. As always, thank you so much for taking the time in your day to follow us over here at Dakota Blue Exotics. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, goodbye.